So now I'm going to go into odor mixtures because most of what we do are complex odor mixtures. And behaviorally, we can get a lot of uh, sort of idiosyncrasy you know, when we have different kinds of odor mixtures. And let me show you an example. So here are two stimuli, one over here and one over here, visually, because that's easier to represent than giving you odors right now. I put a box around this one. All right, everyone pay attention. This is the correct answer. This one is the incorrect answer. Correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect. All right, I'm going to show you a stimulus. Raise your hand if it's a correct stimulus. Nobody? Is it correct? Is it incorrect? Do you see the conflict? There's a conflict here, right? Do you pay attention to the red? Do you respond to red? Or do you respond to the triangle or circle? <laughs> if you were a group of pigeons, you'd be split. Half of you would say it's a target, half of you would say it's a non-target. And this is what happens when we give compound stimuli. What component are you going to pay attention to? I give you an odor mixture. I give you your target packaged in a canvas bag. Are you paying attention to the target or are you paying attention to the canvas bag? Could be split, right? Some dogs might pay attention to one component. Another dog might pay attention to another component. You give your dog a lineup. There are a variety of different things that are going to be overlapping. Visual, olfactory, and other kinds of things that are going to be presented in compound with your target. But don't worry, don't despair. This doesn't mean that you know, all of your dogs will be paying attention to something different. We can change this or we can direct attention to a particularly relevant component. So if I wanted to, for example, make sure that everyone in this room was responding to the color, I just have to give you more examples. I give you two examples now of targets and two examples of non-targets. If I give you this information, you now know that you are responding to color. If I give you this information, I, you now know that you are responding to shape. So when we give our dogs a odor, like a particular type of smokeless powder and a particular type of package, am I training the dog to the odor or am I training the dog to the package? Am I training the dog to the background of the chair as well? Am I training the dog to the background of all the other things? The only way to do that is to give your dog more examples. So what you saw here was just two minutes of a two-hour lecture with Dr. Nathan Hall. If you would like to see this, as well as other lectures and our online classes and webinars and seminars, and go to one of our in-person schools, just go check out FordK9.com. We have all those things listed in our events section, as well as our classes, seminars, and webinars. Hope to see you there.